Yo, yo, welcome. So, word on the street, or word on social media, you know, the streets of social media, is that Tory Lanez and August Alcina got into an altercation at an event recently. It is said that both artists performed at the show, after which there were some friction between both artists and Tory Lanez <laughs> and these guys. Now, this is from August Alcina's mouth said that uh Tory Lanez and his entourage members attacked him and gave him a sound beating no he did not say why he was beaten by Tory Lanez and his men however he showed several cuts and bruises which he alleged you know were inflicted on him by Tory Lanez oh my god and he also called Tory Lanez a, a leprechaun you know as it relates to his size you know but someone is a leprechaun then that person should be able to have you know inflicted so many wounds on you because he's a leprechaun right and you're a giant you're an ogre so you should have been able to defend yourself also Tory Lane in response to this message that was sent on social media, you know what I mean, and posted by several blogs, he responded by saying he wasn't even there, he has no problems with Alcina, and he didn't even see August Alcina. Um, but all fun and joke aside, uh, Tory Lane, you're a stupid individual if you really allowed someone to, you know, fight and beat august alcina given that you are in this whole debacle with megan the stallion about fighting you know what i mean being aggressive and all that it is bad timing you know what i mean it's all good and dandy to see that well two men have decided to you know resolve their issues by just simply fighting and not really you know resorting to gunplay and all that weak bullshit that these guys are doing but for you Tory lanes the world is on your shoulders right now you you allegedly you know got into mm. a, an, an altercation with a female in the worst possible time you can possible you know get into an altercation with a female in the me too era when females are emboldened as ever you know to bring down men some of the accusations are true about men some of them are blatant lies you know i mean i think some of the things especially that has to do with you know some ridiculous stories you know are lies you know i think a lot of females have begun to weaponize and uh, capitalize because they want to monetize with their lies whereas the me too movement is concerned and a lot of men have fallen victim to it but whether or not Tory Lanez um, was guilty of what they said he did to Megan Thee Stallion, you know what I mean? I'm not at the liberty to say he's guilty or not guilty. But if I was in your situation and my name was embroiled in something so messy, the last thing in my mind, the last thing that would have been in my mind was to basically get into another problem with someone else because now this will reflect in my case believe it or not because with the me too movement it is mostly based on raw emotions most times it is not based on facts you know what i mean as you can see with the bill cosby and the r kelly case it is two of the most shabby cases i've ever seen and both men were found guilty you know what i mean now when r kelly was found not guilty back in the day when there was a video footage and all that then you could have said well this man is still guilty and blah 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 this occasion however he may have been still guilty but the facts were just not there but it was a case based on public reception and media scrutiny and you don't want to place yourself in a situation where you are in a case that is heavily judged on public perception and the scrutiny of the media and what people are saying on social media and that is exactly what i saw taking place yesterday many persons uh in the comment sections we're, we're saying Tory Lanez is guilty you see he did he did it to Meg he did it to Meg because this shows that he has a problem with people and he's very violent you know so they took one alleged altercation with um August Alcina they, they did not see any footage of you know I mean they're just taking one person's opinion 
and are saying that he's guilty and that is exactly how the courts are behaving these days you know what i mean hearsay emotional utterances you know what i mean and media play are what are being used to basically you know say that people are guilty you know what i mean who cares about the facts really when you have social media being weaponized to, to be used against men you know what i mean all races of men are enduring this bullshit right now but even though it may seem as if well you know i'm sympathizing with um tory lanes tory lanes is a jackass you know for getting himself involved in this situation you sir are a major jackass because as i said before you should not have found yourself in a situation like this again your case has not even concluded and you are on the back burner as it relates to what this girl is saying and people are saying and the fact that she's a woman and that there is an obvious bias for women in the court system you are stupid for getting yourself in a situation like this but you see power when you have power in the music industry you know what i mean no matter how tall you are or short you are or if you're even handicapped that power those yes men around you who are not bold enough to say yo tori i'm not doing this yo such and such i'm not doing this when you have yes men in your corner who are not willing to hold you accountable and to, to resist stupid um activities this is what happens and this is why many artists have fallen over the years because they are consumed by their own power the yes men around them many of these yes men are calling them dads father don boss you know what i mean it, it empowers them it emboldens them and they feel like they can do anything and get away with anything recently when charleston white and soldier boy met in the altercation in florida you know soldier boy was heard saying shoot him shoot him shoot him and one of the guys said no <laughs> that is exactly what one of Tory Lane's men should have done in this situation situation because if that guy had shot Charleston White on behalf of Soldier Boy then Soldier Boy would have been incarcerated today and facing a murder charge or an attempted murder charge so one of these jackasses who are in the entourage of Tory Lane's should have spoken up and be like no bro we're not gonna do this you're already in our problem um with 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 another artist let's just walk this one out you hold this little short leprechaun ass and take him out of the building and then y'all discuss it in the car on your way back to the hotel with some bad bitches that's it i'm out yeah rhymes them are kick not even top of skiller they must be in it because you're not a killer who see them no sick because garrison illa got the rifle them must sing is like a bryson tiller yeah so they might be a gun you know 